going on students welcome to another math and man episode where today i'll be showing you how to deal with a transversal probably in a geometry class first of all what the heck is a transversal transversal is just a line that cuts through two or more lines usually parallel say i have two of the, two of those red lines right there the transversal line would be this black one here's another example of parallel lines let's say i have two, those two blue ones it's the best straight line that I can draw. Parallel lines usually have those two triangles to symbolize that they're parallel. And then this orange one would be my transversal, cutting through two or more lines. Second vocabulary I want you guys to learn is corresponding angles. Corresponding angles are just angles that match up, angles that are in the same relative position. If you're dealing with parallel lines, then the corresponding angles of parallel lines are congruent. Looking at this, Q and S are both parallel. You can tell because they have those two little triangles or arrows. Line AB is my transversal. If I have a line that cuts through parallel lines, then corresponding angles like E and F are going to be congruent. So as I move this line right here, you can tell that those values are always going to be the same. E matches with F, this top left matches with that other top left, and so forth. Let's go over this first slide right here. What angle corresponds with angle 8? What is the measure of angle 1? What I like to do in the beginning is to highlight my transversal. That way it's a little easier to see which angles correspond with each other. Notice, we're also given parallel lines. My transversal cuts through parallel lines, you can tell by the small little triangles. So that means that corresponding angles are congruent. The only thing given to me here is angle 8, which is 110 degrees. That's at the bottom right. Which one matches up with angle 8 on the top angles? So the one that's the, on the bottom right position is angle 4. So that would make this 110 degrees. Corresponding angles of a transversal that cuts through parallel lines will be congruent. You take a look at this, angle 1 is vertical from angle 4, which makes this 110 degrees. Pretty simple, right? Let's take a look at this second example right here. The picture kind of looks different, but it's done in the same way. Again, I highly suggest that you highlight the transversal that cuts through the two lines. That way it's a little easier to see which angles correspond with each other. Angle A is on the top left of these first set of angles. So the one that matches up with that, the one that corresponds with angle A in the second part is angle E. Now we get the question, what is the measure of angle F? Trying to find this one out. Sometimes even if they don't ask for it, I tend to just label every single angle in this transversal. That way it's easier to answer any questions that might arise. This is 47, A is vertical from D, so that would make this 47. A and B are a linear pair, so they have to add up to 180. To find angle B, I could just take 180 minus 47, and I would get 133. So now we know what C is, because they're vertical, that's 133. Well, we just said before that A corresponds with E, so 47 and angle E, that's also going to be 47. Which one matches up with F? B does. So that would be 133. I mean, you can stop right there. If you want to fill them all out, go for it. But we already have the answer, which is 133 degrees. All right, I gave you a couple examples. Let's try these on your own. There's two pieces of information given to you, which is angle 3 and angle 10. Fill them out and then find the measure of the rest of the angles. This picture is a little different because you have two transversal that cuts through a set of parallel lines. I would highlight each one with a different color. That way you can tell which angles correspond with one another. So don't cheat. When you're ready, unpause the video and check the answers. In this problem, I was given two pieces of information. Angle three, which is 75, I labeled that right there. And angle 10, which is 115 degrees, the other transversal, which I labeled right there. I knew this one was 105 because 75 and 105, they're a linear pair. Three and four are a linear pair. You have to add up to 180. Angle eight 
is 75 because 3 and 8 are vertical angles. And then I can just match them up with the other side and you can fill out the rest. You could do the same for the bottom. In the end, you'll get these answers. Remember, a transversal line is a line that cuts through two lines or more, and if they're parallel, then they hold that special property where corresponding angles are going to be congruent. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if this was helpful, and I will see you on the next episode. Peace!